Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 12 before going ahead with part 13. Now we will start with the second half of the lesson that deals with fluid dynamics. As the name suggests, it will talk about fluid which is in motion. It will talk about moving fluids and various properties and laws and statements and signs behind that. So now we will switch from fluids at rest to fluids in motion. As I stated, we will talk about moving fluids. So the very first thing which we will start with is what are the types of fluid flow? How do we categorize the flow of fluids? Broadly, we classify them into two types. The first one is steady flow and the second one is turbulent flow. So, we will see each of the types in detail. So, I mean, this is a broad classification of moving fluids. Their flow is classified into two types. One is steady flow, the other is turbulent flow. Now, let us look at what is steady flow. The flow of a fluid is said to be steady if at any given point, the velocity of each passing fluid particle remains constant in time. Now understand the definition very clearly. What do we, as the name suggests, steady. What is steady? Steady means something which is stable, something which is happening in a proper organized manner. That is known as steady. That is what an impression we get when we listen the term steady, right? So for a fluid, what is basically fluid? A fluid consists of many particles, whether it is a liquid or it is a gas or whatever. Basically, a fluid consists of many particles. So when a fluid is moving, all the particles which are constituting the fluid, all of them are moving. So when we say that a flu the flow of a fluid is steady, that means at any given point, the velocity of all the particles which are passing is the same. That means it is not that, that does not mean that velocity at different points will be the same. Okay, so please try to understand the difference between these two. What I am trying to say is in a steady flow at a particular point, the velocity of all the particles is same. Right? So whenever a particle crosses that point, its velocity will be the same as the other particles. But that does not mean that the velocity of one particle will be same across all the points in space. It is not like that. That means at a particular point, all the particles will pass through the same velocity. Okay, so I hope you understood the difference which I stressed. So steady flow is also termed as streamline flow. It is also known as streamline flow. Let us understand it in this way. Let us suppose if I am talking of a steady flow. Let us suppose this is how a fluid is moving. That means all the fluid particles would be following this path. Let us consider I choose any point A. I choose another point B. Steady flow states that at point A, all the particles which will cross point A will have the same velocity at point A. Like, let us suppose if the first particle has velocity v1, the second particle will also have velocity v1, the third particle will also have velocity v1 when they cross point A. Now, let us suppose at point B, the particle has a velocity v2. That means all the other particles which will be coming after that, all the particles when they will cross this point B, they will have a velocity v2. Similarly, let us suppose at point C, all the particles when they will cross this point C, all of them will have a velocity V3. So that means the velocity will keep changing with space. I mean, it will keep changing from point to point. But all the particles when they will cross that particular point, they will have the same velocity. Right? Okay. Another important point about streamline is no two streamlines can intersect. That means two streamlines can never intersect. What will happen if 
two streamlines intersect. Because if let us suppose there is one streamline, I, I hope you understood what is a streamline. A streamline is nothing but it just denotes a path which is followed by a fluid particle. Right? So let us suppose this is one streamline and we say there is ideally the other streamline should be somewhat like this. It should be parallel. Now let us suppose that this is one streamline and this is another streamline. What will happen if they intersect? There, let us suppose one particle moved this way. It went this way. The second particle when it will come, it will reach this point. It will not know whether it has to follow this way or this way. Because it will see that there are two different paths going from the same point. So the particle which will be coming after that, that approaching particle will have a confusion which way to go. Therefore, no two streamlines can ever intersect. Because in streamlines, the condition is that all the passing particles will have the same velocity at a particular point. But if the lines will intersect, then the particle which either will be coming in, they will not know which way to follow and what velocity to have. That is why two streamlines never intersect. So basically we understood what is a steady flow. When we say a steady flow, it means at any given point, velocity of all the fluid particles which are passing will be the, point, will be the same. And also these lines are called streamlines. Generally, the path which the particles follow in a steady flow are termed as streamlines and no two streamlines ever intersect. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.